This is an AI job replacement tier list that I just made. The only problem is, I'm sure a lot of you are about to call me delusional. Time and time again, people are losing their minds thinking that AI is going to take all the jobs. So much so that OpenAI recently demoed their new AI video generator, and the conversations from all sides were making my brain cells short circuit. I, I just can't take it anymore. You see, I've been doing AI development for the past eight years. I love AI like a AAA game studio loves to disappoint. So all this fear mongering of my baby just bothers me having studying it for so long. So I did a little poll on what jobs people think AI is going to replace. And these are what people voted for. Yes, some people voted for travel agents in 2024. And thus, the AI job replacement tier list was born. Listen, I know this is a hot button issue right now, but replace is the keyword here, not displace. Because of course, all jobs at some point are going to be displaced by AI. I'm afraid you're not saying anything profound with that one, chief. So let's first look at bank tellers. Here's the thing about bank tellers, right? 1967 was the the first ATM and ATMs do not really need artificial intelligence, at least how you've come to learn what artificial intelligence is in the modern age. But the thing is that like a bank teller does far more things than just like withdraw and deposit. And I think on top of that, due to the high security risk of just allowing AI to control, you know, a, a $20,000 withdrawal, I don't think that's something that companies would be really okay with for quite a long time. I'm gonna go C tier for bank teller. I think that's that's the next generation's worry as we begin to learn to trust these systems more and more often cashier okay i'll never forget 2012 was the first time that i walked into a flagship jack-in-the-box and they had digital cashiers no one no human was taking orders at the counter it was just the kiosk it's become more and more prominent over the years i think i'm gonna give cashier a b tier it's a pretty simple job he's got to accept money you know there are some caveats here and there but okay content farms very tricky because yes content farms do exist but there's little to no demand for them and companies are actively fighting to shut them down so i want to give it an s tier but that's not due to ai so i'm gonna give it a c tier instead why because content farms are never going away and as gen ai technology gets better ai content farms will become a little more harder to suss out even if only slightly c tier moving on customer support uh there's been a lot of automation with customer support for sure you can go on like any website nowadays and they have the automated chat customer support but in terms of ai replacing this job outright Right? I don't think it's possible because humans are very complex and, and the issues that we might have with various products and services, it's not easy to get a full understanding of that. I think there is always going to be a place for human customer support. In fact, there's a popular story that happened not too long ago about some airline replace their customer support with <laughs> an AI chatbot and the AI chatbot was able to be convinced to pay a customer because I got the reporting a little wrong. Basically, an AI chatbot promised the customer could apply for a large discount after his flight. The airline wouldn't honor it and so he sued and won some money. Basically, it was determined that it makes no difference whether the information comes from a static page or a chatbot. Sure, listen, maybe these are like new AI technology mistakes and maybe the technology could get a little better to prevent stuff like that in the future. But at the moment, I, I, I have to go with no shot d tier and i just don't think an ai is able to get a full understanding of like new problems that his training data set has never even seen before so data entry clerks yo what year is it i don't even know what to say this is definitely like you ain't paying bills if you're a data entry clerk it's just not happening a driver hmm we're talking like uber drivers taxi drivers or trucking i do see a future where it's possible i've had the luxury of driving a few cars that are self-driving there's a lot of mistakes there's a lot of errors but they do a pretty good job for the most part but I think the biggest issue that self-driving cars have is that I truly believe that they, they operate the best when every car on the road is also self-driving. Furthermore, if they can then communicate with each other, because a few self-driving cars with the unpredictability of a human driver, I think is probably more dangerous than just all human drivers. But anyways, that's besides the point. Where do I where do I rank this? I think I'm about to go driver is, is C tier. It's definitely not D tier. Moving on. But first, this video is brought to you by Ultra Bowders. Ever want to play a fighting game where you strategically take turns against your friends and get an epic shonen style anime replay at the end of the battle wishlist ultra bowlers today okay so drone operators the thing is i don't really know everything that a drone operator does to be real with you let's see if we can look this up agricultural drone pilot agriculture is a specialized application of drone technology this advanced sensor detects light in the non-visual range particularly infrared and near infrared yo look i will say at the fact that the human homie 
here is showing technology being used in the drone is already not a good look. Like we're, we're halfway there already. <laughs> Creating 3D maps and models through drone technology holds broad applications. All right, I got my answer. Drone operators, that's A tier. Y'all got a few years. I'm just being real, all right? I have a video that I did a few years ago where I added artificial intelligence to a drone and it was not that difficult. I think it's only a matter of time if that doesn't already exist. A tier, I'm sorry. Next up is factory workers. So automation in factories has been around for a really long time and it continues to get more and more and more prevalent. But the idea of replacing humans entirely is interesting. I don't have a lot of insight on factory workers. I'm not gonna lie. However, I do think that if every company had the means to do it, I think they would do it tomorrow. A capitalist does not give a shit about who's doing it. They only give a shit about who can do it better. At the moment, for some tasks as humans, but someday it might be robots. And so with that, I think that this is probably next generation's worry. C tier. Will we always need factory workers? I think we will. You know what? I'm going to change my answer. I'm, I'm going to go with D tier. And here's why. I thought about like the cost that it would take for every single company to have a specialized automated army to do tasks for them. And I think that just seems very unrealistic. You need to be making a lot of capital to be able to do this. And if not doing that, I think that we might have to conglomerize, if that's a word. The means of production has to only come from like a few different places to make this cost effective. And I don't know. I just, I just don't think that is possible, at least in my lifetime or as far as I can see into the future. So I'm gonna go D tier. But this one's tough. Factory workers is definitely tough. Next up is graphic artist. As someone who is developing an anime series, which is currently in manga form, I'm paying artists thousands of dollars. I can tell you these tools right now, they're not ready for the job. The biggest benefit that a human graphic artist has over an AI image generator is that I can tell a human, I want this character in one foul swoop. They will get that right. With AI image generator, I gotta give it that prompt, click generate, hope it works, likely it doesn't. I gotta keep hitting that button, 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 button. Next thing you know, my bill is like $100 for one image. Not saying there's not a place for it. Humans are still far superior when it comes to actual like production. Long tirade. Well, how do I rank graphic artists? I think it's, I think is I think it's D tier. I'm sorry, there's no shot AI is replacing this. There's just so much intentionality that an AI cannot understand from text. Human resources. If I understand this correctly, this is a, a branch of a company that deals with problems that humans have. So human resources and simple turn HR is the department who is responsible for recruiting, hiring, onboarding, training, and firing employees. Now, this is immediate D tier. I think it sounds cool in a, in a sci-fi movie, but you have to realize, man, just imagine going back to the 60s or 70s when Steve Jobs was in the deep depths of his grind. Imagine if Steve Jobs was just like, I don't care who we hire, you just get the AI human resources to figure it out. Like, no, that like, it's so antithetical to like the human experience. I, I don't there's no shot that AI can handle all those tasks that a journalist uh, so I think that we're going to probably have a lot of contention with this one because the definition of a journalist changes depending on the person that you ask. My understanding of a journalist requires a lot of mobility. Like you have to be able to get on a, a flight and investigate their reports of some strange stuff happening. I don't think an internet connection is enough to really do the reporting that a journalist historically has done. So maybe someday if we get Androids potentially, but at the moment, and this is journalist is D tier for me. Law firms. I'm going to go law firms D tier easy. One one of my biggest gripes with a lot of AI headlines and how it's going to replace human labor, etc., cetera, etc., cetera, is that it's very much rooted in sci-fi. Like I, I think a lot of us have watched like The Matrix and Blade Runner and Her, played Cyberpunk and all these various like AI sci-fi Terminator, etc. Our brain immediately just goes to that vision of what AI will eventually do. But just stop and think about it for a second. To be a lawyer is not just the law, right? Like that's one element of what it means to be a lawyer. But a huge part of what it means to be a lawyer is understanding human nature. AI, no shot. I'm just I'm just being real. Okay, librarian, librarian. I think most people don't understand what a librarian is or what they even do. The average person would say is a librarian is someone who likes stock shelves or, or points you to where books are in a library, but I think they do far more than that. I don't know. I, I'm straight going, I don't know, tier with librarian. I, I don't know enough about the profession. A market analyst, there's no shot that a market analyst is replacing humans you know why because stock trader you i don't have to explain this you know there's no shot a stock trader is replacing hu uh, humans anytime soon and i think a market analyst is very similar to a stock trader just more specific more honed in so both stock trader and market analysts not not happy 
I'm sorry. There's just there's just too many variables at play. AI replacing photographers. I think what people were alluding to with this is that you'll be able to use something like Dolly or Mid Journey to generate images instead of taking them with the actual physical photo. I think it already kind of has a place. I use AI generated photos for the video content that I make, but that's about it. I'm not using AI generated images to prove historical events that happened. I think a photographer will always have a place so long as we don't have androids that are literally like physical form taking photos. I think this is photography is, is D tier. No question about it. Radiologist is a really interesting one. More and more and more radiologists are turning to algorithms and AI assistants to help identify anomalies within their, their slides. What is everything that a radiologist does? So they specialize in diagnosing and treating conditions using imaging equipment. Okay, listen, I think radiologists they are C tier. Image classification is something that AI can do pretty well. I think it's a little unfortunate. I think ever since the generative AI became really sexy and investors, you know, want to put all this money into it, I think we kind of took a step back from doing image classification stuff. But whenever that picks back up, I think that radiologists, their job will be easily done by an AI with enough training data provided to these models to learn, you know, what does cancer look like? What does a tumor look like, et cetera, et cetera. All right, yo, straight up. If you think AI is going to replace recipe sites, you're basically self-reporting that you have never cooked in your life. First of all, it's a very, very uncommon job. And I know AI replacing recipe sites sounds like a no-brainer in practice. It's just text, right? But for those of you who've cooked before, you know that the difference of one teaspoon of an ingredient can dramatically change the taste of something. D tier. Therapist. An AI therapist? No shot. I don't have to explain this, right? Like what's more human than than a therapist? A translator? I think translator is A tier. This is an anecdote, but I was in Japan recently. One of my biggest worries was I wasn't gonna be able to talk to people and get the information that I needed. All I had to do was pull out Google Translate from my phone and people were more than willing to sit and wait for the translation to hit and have conversations with me. And it was like, not a problem. Maybe if you're like a translator for like a nation leader or something like that, you're probably safe. But in large part, I'm very sorry. Travel agents. It is 2024, who the hell uses travel agents in 2024 if you're a travel agent ai or not you're not paying your bills with that all right s tier just straight up is is a video editor c tier here's the thing there is some editing that can be done by ai in fact i use some ai editing tools today i would say probably less than one percent of all content that's ever edited is edited by ai and i don't think it's going to go higher and here's why because editing videos is a very personal experience like there's so much human intentionality that that must be invoked when you're editing videos it's no different than doing graphic design but anyways d tier let's move on videographers once again just like the photography you're always going to need the intention of a human for videography you know you need a quick pickup shot of a bird flapping its wings or something it will have its use case right d tier no shot let's move on voice actors i think voice actors is a tricky one voice is one of those things where if you're not paying attention you could be fooled now where it falls apart is when you need to have it do certain inflections have certain emotions you know have certain range and replying right that's where it falls apart at the moment but is it possible for it to potentially like learn how to do that in the future i don't know enough about waveform generation ais but this is one of the things where maybe naively i do think it's possible for voice actors to eventually be pretty predominant across society i'm not going d tier with voice actor i'm actually going to go c tier i i could play you some voice clips and you wouldn't even know that it was ai or not maybe i already am pilots this is another tricky one it's definitely right for the job right most commercial planes have, have auto planes that can uh, even if the visibility is zero 100 of takeoffs are hand flown 99 of landings are hand flown auto lands are more work for us than just hand flying it think of trying to use cruise control when driving in heavy traffic interesting that's very insightful you can engage the autopilot right after takeoff if you really don't like flying what what do you mean? You're a pilot. What do you mean if you don't like flying? Okay, I think I got my opinion. In the current state of things, most takeoff and landings, a pilot is using their hands to, to, to manually do the task, right? Can an AI replace that? Probably can do that. But I think the biggest thing that prevents this from replacing humans, and I'm pretty sure on every single issue that goes wrong with the plane, those are 100% pilots that are correcting those mistakes. I don't think there's any automated systems that are correcting those mistakes for the pilots, which is, I 
I think a reason why there's no shot that this is replacing humans anytime soon because safety is like at the utmost importance when it comes to these companies just due to without it their company won't exist you need trust and faith in a company like an airline if there's any pilots in the chat let me know if I'm if I'm correct with that but it sounds about right to me all right and there is my AI job replacement tier list I want you to tell me how much of a bozo I am in the comments I'm really excited to get the comment about how someone has used AI for the graphics for the new t-shirt business that has a total of two sales therefore I'm wrong <laughs> stay mad but I dare you to return to this video in five to ten years just to see how right I was wishlist my game ultra battles coming soon and you can also make your own tier list links are in the description